That's right, pagers are back. This is the LilyGo T-Laura pager, and I picked this up to experiment with mesh networks. So in this video, I'll show you a demonstration of this device actually working. I'll give you a tour of the device, what the features are and how it works. And finally, I'll share my experience after using this for a couple of weeks. So first, let's do a demonstration. I've been using this on the Mesh Core network, and it's been working very well. Uh, Meshtastic is another popular network, and they are working on a firmware for this also, and there's a couple other networks that this works on. But uh, MeshCore has been the best so far, and if you want to test it out, I highly recommend it. It's totally free to download the firmware, you just flash it on here, and you get up and running. The only thing is that you need two devices, because you want to be able to talk back and forth. So I have my phone over here uh, behind the camera, and I have this device. So I'm just going to type in a message like that. I'm going to hit return and then you can see there's a one there that shows that it hit a repeater and that goes to my phone so I'm gonna just send a message back from my phone like that as you can see I can see who sent it and uh, the message comes up and then it vibrates so that I know a message came in and the keyboard also lights up if the screen is off so that's really cool it works really well I've been very happy with the performance what's a mesh network a mesh network is a network that you can set up that uses inexpensive hardware and allows you to communicate with similar devices. And if some of your neighbors have one of these devices, then it can really extend the range that you can send messages. And I've seen some examples in the UK where they're sending messages one, 200 kilometers. So that's really awesome. And that can even potentially replace your cell service if all you do is text message. It's very easy to set up. You don't have to rely on cell towers. And this can be great in off-grid situations if you have a property that's off-grid or if you're camping, or if there's an emergency where the cell towers are down or the cell towers are clogged, then this can be a great alternative communication device. So if you're finding this video useful so far, be sure to subscribe to get more videos like this. Now let's talk about costs with this. The great thing about mesh networking is that once you buy the device, that's all you have to pay for. You don't have to get a license. This operates on uh, non-licensed radio waves, and these devices can send encrypted messages, so they are private when you send them and receive them. And uh, there are also public networks that you can freely chat with people. Obviously, those aren't private, but it's a great way to get to know people in your area. So ideally, you would get a couple of these devices, maybe an all-in-one like this, and then a simple antenna. And then you can set the antenna up in your house, and that would extend the range of how far you can send. And you can take a device like this around with you as an everyday carry. Now, as far as the device, uh, there's a microphone here. I mean, a speaker here. There's a headphone jack here. There are some pins where you can add some additional functionality if you want it. I really like it because it has its own screen, it has a keyboard, and it makes it all in one. I can just take this with me. I don't have to worry about attaching something to my phone or anything like that. On the side here is a wheel, and that allows you to control um, things on the screen. That's fantastic. Um, there's a back button and an enter here. Those are the main ones that you'll be using. Use the back button to go back a menu, and you can hold this down, and then you can see the drop-down menu there. So that's uh, very good. Now, the thing I like most about this is the antennas. Uh, you can bring up these antennas and you can put them back down. And that's great because you're not walking around with a giant antenna sticking uh, out of your pocket like with some other devices. So this is fantastic. There's a little lanyard holder here. That's great. On the side, I labeled it myself. So this is the reset button. You hold that to turn it off, hold this to turn it on. And if you need to enter DFU mode to flash the firmware, you can hold these two down but I haven't had to do that with MeshCore. Uh, over here is the SD card holder. So this is what you can store data on, and you can store maps on here. And there's also a USB-C port here. So speaking of maps, I'll show you the maps real quick. So you, what you do is you store the maps on the SD card, and then you can access them in the device. You can zoom in and out, and you can use these uh, keys here, W, S, D, and A. Uh, w is to move up, S is to move down, D is right, and this is uh, A is left. So you can take a look at the maps, and when you use the GPS, you can see your position on the map. And if other people are sharing your location also, they, you can see them on the map also. So that's a very handy thing. And it can also help with navigation when you're off-grid. All right, on the back, you have some attachment points that you can use to mount this device on a pole or on, on something else, which is really nice. So all in all, very nice device. I really like this one. Duligo has another device that's all-in-one, but it looks like a BlackBerry. That one's pretty cool too, but I don't like the trackball on that one. 
and uh, that if you attach an antenna, it sticks out and it's fixed, so you can't bring it down. So if you're interested in this device, I have a link in the description below. I also have links to other standalone devices like this one, if you're not into the pager thing. There's one that looks like a Blackberry, there are some that look like smartphones, but it's a really fun time in mesh networking, and the devices that are coming out now are really cool.